Who will come with me before God and see the faces there? Faces that shine like the sun, feet like pillars of fire. Who wants to go with me and meet the angels? There are angels here right now. Yes! Yes, I can hear! I am an angel from the one true God. It's a sign. She's come to take us there. No. Yes! Another portent. She is an angel. She's come to escort us to heaven. I am an angel from God. The true God. The Alpha, the Omega. Jehovah, creator of heaven and earth. Listen to me. This act, this taking of your own lives is not an acceptable sacrifice to God. Would it not be better to break the bonds of oppression? To feed the hungry? To clothe the naked, to let the homeless into your homes? Then will the glory of God break forth for you. Then will you cry out to him and he will answer, Here I am. Believe it. He is waiting for you here, in life. Not in death as blind followers and the murderers of little no, children. No, don't listen to her. She's a false prophet sent by the devil. I am sent by God. No, God speaks through me. I am his vessel. God speaks to every human spirit that inclines to his voice. You have destroyed lives and families to glorify yourself. How dare you? And may God help you. Liar! Deceiver! Alina. I have a message from the Father. He wants you to know that he loves you very much. And he wants you to know that your life can have meaning and significance because he has a splendid purpose waiting for you in this world. God knows me? Oh, yes. Don't do this. Walk out of here right now. For if there is one thing you have learned here, it is that you have the courage to seek the will of God. And this is what it is. For God is not willing that anyone should perish here today. Sister, no, no, brother, no. No. Oh. Oh. Father, forgive me. That's gasoline. What are they doing? It was part of the plan. But the plan has changed. Please, Brother David, please. Let's go. I am your father. If you ask me for bread, shall I give you a stone? <laughs> <laughs> 